Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the VC runtime error you might be getting on your Windows computer. So, this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So, we're going to start by opening up the Start menu and you want to type in Folder Options. Best match should say File Explorer Options. You want to left click on that and now you want to left click on the View tab at the top underneath hidden files and folders you want to select show hidden files folders and drives and then left click on apply and ok so I'm going to open up a web browser here doesn't matter which one but I'm going to open up Google Chrome and I'm going to navigate over to google.com and now in the Google I'm going to type in VC runtime 140.dll download and I'm going to search that up and one of the best matches should be for a domain from dllfiles.com. Keep in mind this is not an advertisement. Some of these links will have ad next to it. You want to download it directly from this site, so dllfiles.com. And I'm going to left click on the hyperlink to open up the web page. And now do not select the client demo. You want to scroll down instead until you get to this area that says the available versions. And depending on what version of Windows you're running, whether it's a 32 or 64-bit version of the operating system, that'll differ what download you select from this list. Now most people are going to be downloading the 64-bit version so that's what I'm going to show in this video and if you're downloading this 32-bit version right here I will show you guys the slightly modified method you're going to have to do to finish up this video but again that'll be a little later on so you want to just download your respective version of this DLL file. It should take a moment just want to be patient and once it's downloaded it should be in a zip file format so I'm going to just show in folder here and I'm going to drag the folder over to my desktop for easy access and I'm also going to proceed to close out of the web browser I'm also going to open up the zip file here just by double clicking on the folder and I'm going to move the DLL file over to my desktop and I'm also going to close out of this folder and I'm going to delete the folder once I've put the DLL file onto my desktop once I've done that I'm going to open up the star menu and type in this PC should come up right above desktop app. You want to left click on that. Now you want to go underneath the drive where Windows is installed on. It should have a little Windows logo right above the hard disk and for most people it should be the local disk C drive. For most people it might be a little bit different depending on you guys. The drive label could be different. So just open up wherever Windows is installed on and then you want to double click on the Windows folder. Now you want to scroll down until you get to system 32. Now this is for 64-bit versions of the operating system. You want to drag the DLL file into the System32 folder and when you're hovering over System32 it should say move to System32 and then also you'll need to provide administrator permission to move this folder. Left click on continue. Now if you're running a 32-bit version of the operating system instead of dropping it into the System32 folder you want to drop it into the SysWow64 folder, so SYS WOW in capital letters, 64 folder. I do believe if you put it in the System32 folder, however, there shouldn't be any real issues. But again, I would recommend that you put that in the SysWow64 folder. And I do hope that once you restart your computer after making these changes and you relaunch your application, hopefully you should be good to go. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I helped you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.